What do you like better, your 450 or 350? Dude, this is the million dollar question. I go back and forth on this all the time. Um, right now I'm around 217 pounds. The 450 does good. Um, if you are not able to buy a new bike to trade in your bike or buy a new bike every couple of years, I think the 450 is the way to go. If you have to keep a bike for four, five, six, seven years, I think the 450 is the way to go. Um, if you are able to get a new bike every year and you're not over, you know, 200, 210 pounds, I think that 350 is the way to go, man. Um, from a pure riding perspective, uh, the 350 has gotten so good now that it's like 90% of the power it feels like to me. Like it's so, cl it's so good on power, so much better than it was. Um, but none of the negative physics effects of the 450 which is uh, the gyro effect, uh, the vibration that comes with the 450, which is it's really good now compared to what it was six or seven years ago, but it's still a lot more than a 350. Um, so if I can get down, I'm 217, if I can get down to like below 200, my next bike might be a 350. Uh, if you're not racing all the time, and I'm mostly doing practice days with the family and trying to find and enjoy new tracks and take videos, uh, you know, you're not at a disadvantage with 350 at all. And really in the vet class, you're not at a disadvantage anyway. Um, you can run whatever size you want. So million dollar question. Dude.